So in this video we're going to talk about solving equations of the form y equals a to the e to, y equals a times e to the kt power. Well, let me just jump in with an example, and I will tell you what I mean by that. So, solve for x. Okay, so here we have 100 equals twenty e to the two t power. Okay, so it's actually this form, but let's not get too caught up on this. So what do I see is I have an exponential equation that has e as the base, and I have everything else as number, and my unknown is t. So I should just say solve instead of solve for x, because this has t as the variable. All right, so step one is that we're going to isolate the exponent. And what do I mean by that is I need the exponent all by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 20. And so that will make 5 equals e to the 2t. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I am now going to apply logarithm to both sides. And so I get ln 5 equals ln e to the 2t. Now, here is the advantage of using base e and using ln. They both cancel. The reason I had to isolate the exponent is because if this had a 20 in front, the ln and the e wouldn't cancel out. So the ln and e are right next to each other. They cancel, and I get 2t equals ln 5. And then I'll just, you know, solve for t. by dividing both sides by 2. Do not try to do anything more with this. You can just leave it like that. I can try another one. Solve 3 e to the 0 0.5 t equals 11. So first, we want to isolate the exponent. That's my own wording. Maybe there's a better way to say that. But we want the exponent all by itself. Get a fraction. Why put it, try to put a decimal? A decimal would have to be rounded. So don't do that. Apply ln. So I'm going to get ln e to the 0.5t equals ln 11 thirds. ln and e cancel out, and I get 0.5 times t equals ln 11 thirds. And there you go. That looks pretty good to me. I mean, um, there's a couple ways you can look at this, is that for one thing, 0.5 is a half, so it might look better if I did this. And some people might say, well, they don't like ln of fractions. They might want to expand this as ln 11 minus ln of 3, all times 2. But uh, I think that's good enough, or it looks pretty good. Let's maybe do one more, I guess. So... Um, Look at C four E to the two X power plus five equals twelve. And so again what we want to do is isolate 
the exponent Gotta get some light on that. So I'll have 4e to the 2x equals 12 minus 5, which seems like that's 7. e to the 2x equals 7 over 4, and then I apply ln. ln and e cancel out. and I divide by 2. And there we go.